John Walker, 461, take two. <laughs> I just did a video on this a second ago and something wasn't working out, so I just stopped it. Because uh, you know me, I don't know how to do editing them very good. So it's been a bit of a nightmare day. I've had to make some tools because uh, I didn't have some of the tools here for pressing cranks apart. Not cranks apart, but pressing bearings off of cranks and putting the bearings back on and putting the cases back together with the bearings. So first thing I needed <clears throat> was a bearing splitter. Bearing splitter is one of these. You can buy from Still, Husqvarna, or your local Snap-on or our hardware uh, auto parts store. So when the bearing's on here, you put this on, squeeze it together, get it underneath the bearing, push the bearing down and out, and away you go. Okay, so that's the first thing I needed. Second thing I needed was something like this. I had one, I guess, at Walker Saw Shop. Uh, ready to go and it was just easy wham bam thank you and um, so I had to quickly make this up so what I do now is the crank now will fit through this tool here okay the rod goes in the slot obviously then when the this bearing squeezers on here I can push the crank through bang through the bearing off okay so i had to quickly make that i had to put this on my lathe cut some material out of the inside and cut that slot in it and it's just the right height so i made that up so i got this thing apart the bearings the bearings off this one and the new bearings back in the case then i had to figure out well how am i going to put the case back together with, with the with the press i have here now well not so bad so um what I did, or haven't done, what I did is just find some proper little uh, crank sleeve stuff from Husky and whatnot, and just see what would fit properly. So this is going to support my ignition side. I already pressed the crank into the ignition side with this, okay. Now I'm going to press the, the clutch side on with the new bearing, and I'm going to use this one that fits on the bearing just perfect. And I'll be able to push it on so the bearing doesn't move in the case. Putting the bearings in the case, by the way, I use a propane torch. I heat it up till it's pretty hot. I do the spit test. It sizzles. It's pretty much good to go. Do a little more than not enough is always the better way. You're not going to melt this thing or, or catch it on fire. Plop the bearing in, put some oil on it right away, let it cool off. Then I press the crank in. This side, I heat it up. Normally I'll have some oilers off of dead saws. I would have the oiler on this one. So when I put the bearing in, it's at its right depth in the case. Because this side goes into a blank, goes in all the way, stops. This one has got to be a certain distance, like 390s and different stills, okay? Well, almost all stills. So um, I heated it up enough quickly flopped it over, screwed this on with one screw, pushed the bearing in, and normally it's level with the case, and I kind of know that, but I just did this anyways, put the oiler on just to make sure it's in its right spot. So now it's all cooled off, now let's press it together. So I got one, one sleeve here that'll go underneath on the flywheel side, and this one will go on the clutch side. Let's turn you over to the press now, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so that side's on. I got my little sleeve underneath, the crank sitting here with the rod upwards. Let's get our press ready to go. And the other half ready to go. Set it on here. Get this side on. Oh, might have to tilt her over a bit to get her on. There we go. Okay. Come on. Slide down a little bit. Make sure the gasket stays in its place. Make sure it stays in its place. Oh, I have a uh, guest here. Guest appearance. Shelly's here. Hi, Shelly. Hi. 
Okay, I need my other piece now. Hey, Shelly, can you grab me that, please? My assistant's here. What? Please, babe, hand me that silver thing right there. This one? Yep. Okay, look at that. Some help tonight. Okay, let's get this together now. I'm gonna press down onto that one and holding the case straight so it lines up. Wow, look at that. The tools I made today worked. Woo! There's the first crankcase done on this uh, Arbor Press and Donnie Walker's homemade tools. There you go. If you don't have one, make one. That's how you do it, man. You know, my dad did it for years. Now me and Shelly are doing it. Crank spins okay, but I will put the bolts in and make sure the crank's centered. And if it's not moving quite right, I'll put the flywheel nut on, give it a little tap that way, or put the clutch on and give it a little tap that way, but guarantee it'll probably be just right. Okay, supper's ready, I've been told. So I better get up there and have some vittles keep this guy in the shape that he is okay there we go sorry I didn't give you a video of taking it apart doing all that but everything today was went wrong uh, but not really it was for a reason so now I got a tool for that I got the tool for that tool for that there's my 461 tools to do a crank install or take apart and install keep us on the wood stick me nice rubbing the road Thanks for everyone for subscribing. I told you earlier, I've got 12,000 now. Thanks very much, everyone. Love you. And more videos to come. Have a great night. Bye now.